Let me say something right, real quick. Uh, Austin, here you go, here you go. Hey, uh, shalom, brothers. Y'all say y'all from Venezuela. Could y'all inform us what's going on in Venezuela right now? Because there's a lot of turmoil. And it, it's actually hard to get the information about Venezuela. Right. I personally do different uh, studies and try to see what is going on with our people down in Brazil. And why is it so hard to get that information? So please, could y'all tell us what is going on in Venezuela right now? There's, there's no food, yeah. lots of violence, lots of inflation. You can't even buy it. Like, with a $100 bill here, you could do a lot with it, right? Right. But over well, there, yeah. a $100 bill, you can't even buy, like, a piece of bubble gum. Wow. Really? So imagine people are working for nothing. So they're getting paid nothing. So people have to go to the streets to get everything they need. You mean, I, I want to show y'all this is biblical. And this this proves that the Venezuelans are the children of Israel. That's, that's, that's right. right. Read. Lamentations chapter 5, verse 1. Bring now, it what out. Does lam uh, lamentation mean or to lament? To who? It's a regret. It's a form of regret. It's, it's mourning. It's okay. a form of mourning or sorrowful, right? So let's see what where the true lamentation or the sorrowful mourning is coming from. Read. Read. Remember, O oh Lord, huh? what is come upon us. Read. Consider and behold our reapproach. Read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our what? Our inheritance is turned to strangers. So down in Venezuela right now, the inheritance of our brothers and sisters down there are turned to strangers. That's right. This is what you call coup d'etats. America is known for coup d'etats in different lands that have resources that they want. Right. We understand according to the Bible, it tells us that Venezuela ha is very rich in oil, Freedom. is very rich in metals, right. and coffee. Right. We understand that why? Based off the Bible, read right. our houses to aliens. Our houses to what? To aliens. So what is an alien? A who? Foreigner. A foreigner. Huh. So who's the real foreigner that's in Venezuela right no. now trying to uh, cause uh, government oppression and uprisal with the people? Freedom. Who's the real foreigner right now? No, but who are they? Who are they ran by? Because don't get it twisted. It's, government is a blanket statement. But we understand in these last days, there's only one nation that rules this entire earth. Everybody has to bow down to that nation. Right. Everybody. No, it ain't Russia. It's America. That's right. Everybody has to bow down to America whether they like it or not. Right. Including Russia. They're, they're actually tired of bowing. That's the thing about it. So, really, it's who runs America? What race of people run America? So-called Caucasians. So, according to the Bible, it tells you that Edom, that's their biblical name, the Edomites were going to be in the latter days. Finish this. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. What? So, if your mother's made a widow, what happened to her son? Or what happened to her husband? He got put to death. That's right. And I know down in Venezuela, not only uh, that there's rich resources down there in diamonds, um, herbs, minerals, things like that, but I even did uh, some studies about um, uh, diamond mines are down there. And they're actually forcing people to work for little to nothing. Is that true? All praise. Hey, keep reading. We have drunken our water for money. You did what? Have drunken our water for money. So when you drink your water for money, that is a sign of co uh, colonism. Meaning somebody is coming into your land, charging you for your own resources. Right. That happened in Venezuela. That happened in Puerto Rico. That happened down in um, Peru. It happens everywhere our people are. You know. So this truly stems from the children of Israel. Showing that the oppression comes from the children of Israel. But I'm going to show you what this oppression is going to force our people to do. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Bring it up. Bring it up. I'm going I'm to show you. The, the Lord is a mastermind. He knows his people. This is going to force us to do something. Because we have to, as children of the Lord, our God, 
we have to get that fire put to our behind right. to wake up. Most of us think that we're in the most pleasant land. We think that everything is fine. We think that everything is free for us to do. But that's the lies that we was told over here. Right. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 7. Bring it out. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So didn't y'all say that there's oppression going on in Venezuela right now? What is that going to do to the Venezuelans? Not destroy them. No, they're going to get angry. Right, they're going to get right. mad. But what, what's going to happen? Read. And a gift destroy the heart. This goes into our politicians. This is why the Bible does not condone getting into politics. Because it, it lives up to its name. Poly means many. Ticks are blood-sucking creatures. That's There's right. a lot of blood-sucking creatures within these uh, high societies sapping us dry. That's right. That's why we don't get into politics. Right. That's why we don't mess with that thing. But read it again. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. So the oppression that's going on over in Venezuela is going to make the Venezuelans mad. Right. Because their point of refuge is coming up here to the United States. Right. According to the Bible, the uh, tribe of Judah is within the United States. That, in the last days, that was the main tribe that was going to teach the people how to return back to God. Right. So the Lord is forcing the Venezuelans to come back to America to learn their nationality and who they are. That's yes. right. I know it sounds sadistic. I know it sounds hard. But some something has to give. Our people are too comfortable in their, in their oppression. Right. They're way too comfortable. Finish that out. And a gift destroys the heart. And a gift destroys the heart. Those come into bribes, uh, hush money. Everybody knows there's evil going on in Venezuela, but nobody want to talk about it. Why? Right. Bribes, hush money. And the scriptures say a gift destroys the heart. So you will forget your own name just for a dollar. Right. You see how messed up that is? But that's how we have to return back to our God. Because returning back to our God it forces you to learn nationality. That's it right. It forces you to learn God's heritage, which is the law. Right. And we're going to show you that in a little bit. Because, like I said, right here, when you read down, Venezuela, where is that close to? Colombia. So you will be of the tribe of Asher. And as you see how broad it is, it's from um, Colombia to Uruguay. So that's the Inca Empire. Y'all still down there. Y'all the ancient Incas. Right. The so-called Mexicans are the ancient Aztecs. Right. So we come from great people. We just don't know that. Right. Because you was taken over by your oppressor, taught his history, and taught his language. That's right. Because what we are speaking over here before the colonials, or before the Spaniards came over here, what, what language were y'all speaking? No. You learned Spanish from the Spaniards. But what were you speaking prior to the Spaniards coming over here? You was actually speaking a, a ancient form of Hebrew. That's right. This is documented. And the, the higher ups, they know this, but do they teach us any of this in, in school? Because world history revolves around the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. That they can't refute. It revolves around you, us. Because me, I may look. Negroid, but I come from the tribe of uh, uh, Reuben, which is the so-called Seminole Indian. That's, That's right. right. So we look, and we different shades, different colors, but we come and stem from the same man. That's the point. Right. So we have to gather our people together in these last days. Give me that Zephaniah 2 and 1. Right. We have to. And the only way we can do that is by returning back to our God and following his laws. Right. That's the only way. That's how our brothers and sisters in uh, Venezuela are going to get out of their oppression. Right. All praises that they're being forced to come up here because they're going to learn the truth today. Right. They're going to learn. Y'all got to see the bigger picture. Jeez. And then isn't there a guy down in uh, Venezuela that they call him the, uh, the, tropic, the tropic Trump? He's just like Trump, but down there. Just like him in Brazil. And he, okay, so what is he doing down there that's actually worse than Trump now? Taking everybody's money. So that means he's taxing. He's overly taxing people, right? Read that. 
Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So the so-called Venezuelans are not desired in this land. The so-called Negro is not desired in this land. Right. The so-called Hispanic is not desired yeah, in this right. land. That's why we have to gather ourselves together. That's right. Because we are one nation under God. Right. Yes, that's right. the one nation that's under God. Right. There ain't no other nations outside of yours. That shows you how beautiful the history and heritage that you come from. Right. Give me that um, Baruch 3 and 4 about payments. Because I'm going to show you. Verse 8, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you. Paying taxes shows that you're in captivity. Right. I'm going to show you this. And this is what the Bible says. Have y'all ever been to church? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Have y'all ever went over stuff like this? To, to branch world history with what's going on now and right. through the Bible? You know why? Because the Israelites are the only people that can do that. Right. You know why? This book only belongs to us. That's, That's right. right. That's why we're the only ones that can do that. It's like speaking code, and we're the only ones that can figure it out. We're the only ones on the planet. Right. Read that. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Read. Where thou hast scattered us uh -huh. for a reproach. So the Lord scattered us because of the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Right. Due to us uh, committing sin or breaking God's laws entirely as a nation, we had certain punishments put on us. One of those punishments that we was going to be spread across the, uh, the globe from our homeland is serving other gods and serving other men in their land as servants. Read. And a curse. And to be subject to payments. And to do what? Be subject to payments. So to be subject to payments, that's taxing. Right. So if you're being taxed, you, that shows you that is not your land of residence. If you're being taxed, and let's say you try to evade taxes, what happened to you? They come after you and you can go to jail. That's right. So if there's a punishment for not paying your taxes and you are technically forced to pay your taxes, are you really free? You're not. Right. That's the point. Our brothers and sisters in Venezuela are not free. Right. They need to understand that. And all praise to the Most High, y'all too, y'all need to be that example. To show our brothers and sisters, this is the only way we're getting up out of here. Right. right. If you don't follow God's law, statutes, and, and commandments, you're not getting out of captivity. You will die here. Right. That's thus saith the Lord. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.